You can stay out of the drama. I want proof. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna like respond to drinker. Uh, we might watch it at the end of this. Nibble Snarf, thanks for five bucks. You. you think any of these models yes. are gonna be ripped to make source filmmaker, source filmmaker or pornography? Imagine the main girl with a thick flesh. Oh Jesus! Do you believe her? Uh, Fuda is the first thing that you go to. <laughs> oh, I, I, what? Come on. Someone said Drinker indirectly called me out. Probably because I indirectly called out people like Mahler and him and all those for having double standards on what they consider wokeness. And of course, that threatened their revenue stream and their fragile egos as well. So now they all feel obligated to respond to me. You know, the game is a boring piece of shit. Sony fanboys are all degenerates and bundles of sticks and all that shit. Man, I, I want to say the word so bad. Well, I agree with you on some things. I don't believe all the nerd rock, uh, GNG or grifters across the board. Certain people maybe, but they called them out. See, here's the thing. I'm not going to pretend all of them are. But you have to understand that calling out other people yes. for grifters does not mean you're not a grifter. You're just protecting yourself. These are all leftist tactics. That's why I recognized it. You have to understand. I don't know how many of you guys, you know, basket weaving forum type people. But the but the whole thing about the schizos versus psychos, 100% true. That is the secret war that's been going on across, I don't who knows how long. And I'm on the schizo side, obviously. So I sniff out the psychopaths, like like Ludwig is a dude who I'm like, this guy's a, a psychopath, 100%, just observe his behavior. I, I'm very good at pattern recognition, and I notice these people who are quote-unquote on our team are using the exact same tactics the far left uses all the time. He was close to finding a way so to that's how you fucking know they're not really, they're not based, guys. They're not fucking based. I don't care if you literally spread the meme, the message, if... That's all you're doing. You're just pointing out the message. And then conveniently, Here. you don't point out the message the when you like the thing or you're paid to yeah, like the you thing. You know, sometimes that's idea. the case as well. For those of you who've seen the Drinker yeah, review, does he say it's woke that there's back. three black characters in Norse mythology? Does he even draw attention to it? Because I can tell you, I watched his Glass Onion review and he didn't call out the absurdity of Edward Norton stealing the idea for his billion dollar company from a black woman. Now, listen, like I said, I always have to, to trample on light ground here, whatever the saying is. There's, there's no billion dollar tech company that's founded by a black woman, okay? That's just, that's not real. It's not fucking real. It's absurd. It's, it's woke as shit. He didn't even mention it. Didn't even mention it. Again, I'm not implying anything about, like, ugh, whatever. I'm wasting my time. I'm not going to defend myself. You know what the truth is? I, I'm not going to fucking... No. It's fucking stupid. Like, Sam Hyde, though... Sam Hyde's slipping. I'm going to be honest. Sam Hyde is slipping lately. He's gotten way too greedy. I mean, I love Nick. Like, Nick... Nick Rochefort... Nick, Nick is hilarious. Talks way too much about the his the car business shit and, like, the selling house the stuff. But he's funny as fuck. I don't, the point is... I still love the stuff, you know, million dollar extreme, great shit. Okay to acknowledge IQ, bro. Yeah, I mean, it, that's that's part of what it is, but it's not just that. It's not just IQ. It's like, partially it's an ambition thing, too. I mean, I don't want to get too much into this, because it's like, you don't have to hate somebody or a group of people or anything to acknowledge reality, but you do in this day and age, like, you just hate people if you acknowledge reality. But it's just like, it's not that it's literally impossible for that thing to happen, but is, there's a very, very very good re there's multiple very good reasons as to why it hasn't happened and likely will not happen i'm just saying and that's obviously an extremely woke choice and instead of bringing that up he did focus i mean i'm not going to pretend the movie being stupid is not important to talk about it is glass onion was a fucking stupid movie and he pointed that out but he didn't point out the wokeness which was so evident so obvious because it's a fucking grift. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Let me ask you a serious question. I'm gonna derail this whole fucking stream because because I've already I guess you know the alcohol is starting to get to me. Let's use another example from real polit more real politics. Matt Walsh, coincidentally, also part of the Daily Wire, but I it's not a coincidence as to what I'm about to tell you. So he blew up in popularity after his "What Is a Woman" documentary, which is great. 
And I was like, oh, sweet. There's like actually a mainstream person who's not blacklisted who's talking about, you know, just asking some questions about the, the trans situation. Matt Walsh, Daily Wire. So I'm like, oh shit, someone's actually able to talk about the trans stuff on YouTube and is not blacklisted. Now immediately, that should be a massive red flag. There's a reason why everyone talking about it gets blacklisted, because you're not allowed to talk about it. Why is he allowed to talk about it? Well, you know, the blue-pilled person might say uh, that the Daily Wire is an MCN, a multi-channel network, you know, like Machinima and uh, Maker Studios and all that stuff. That's what a blue-pilled person would say. <laughs> but the truth is, there is a reason why specific people are allowed to talk about certain things, and part of that is the controlled opposition angle. There is no way, naturally, on YouTube, that someone can go from nothing to suddenly being a massive success by talking about the trans question, right? Now, it's similar to the woke question. This is where I'm getting into the critical drinker stuff. Now, it's obvious critical drinker rose to success from riding the algorithm over and over again. I'm not going to say that's bad. I've done that a bunch. I would be literally nothing if all I talked about was like old games like I, I started out doing with my channel because those videos don't really get views unless you get lucky or you make a really good video and my early videos were not good. The only reason I got any attention at all is because I covered the Resident Evil 3 remake. Then I covered The Last of Us 2 when it came out and I didn't even actually play it. I just kind of shit on the story. <laughs> Because I watched, you know, the cutscenes, which is kind of based. The more I think about it, the more it's like, I kind of wish I was just making shit posty videos where I don't even buy these shitty games. Like, I could have done that with God of War Ragnarok, because no one fucking even talks about the gameplay, except for, like, Under the Mayo broke it down, but he's, like, the only one I saw. Most people are just talking about the story because Sony fans don't even fucking like games. And if you were here for the stream, when I watched Drinker's Horizon Forbidden West review, he talked about the gameplay for about one minute. Out of, out of 12, and the video was only 12 fucking minutes long. So anyway, hor he's a horrible game reviewer. So, like, if, if you take your video game opinions from Critical Drinker, uh, you're retard. I'm just gonna tell you that. <laughs> I'm just gonna say you're retard. What I'm trying to circle back around to is Drinker is allowed to say what he's saying. He's risen to, what, 1.5 million subscribers. The only reason that he's that popular is because... He has a handler with YouTube. See, YouTubers know this. Once you rise to a certain popularity, or in the case of someone like Nick Ricada, if you're doing something important, like you're talking about law, YouTube gives you a handler after a certain size, and they tell you what you can and can't do. So the fact that Drinker has one, because he has to have one, means he knows exactly what he can or can't say. And so if YouTube is allowing him to say that, he is not pushing any fucking boundaries. He is not edgy or based or, or red-pilled. Bullshit. Bullshit. There's way too many fucking conservative-minded people who are so desperate for someone to be on their team that they're, like, defending the Daily Wire or, or things like that. You know what I mean? Okay, so that, that's the rant. I probably should continue with the game. I'm just saying, I don't want to hear any more shit about Critical Drinker being based. He's at 1.5 million subscribers. There's not a single based man on YouTube Alive that has made it to a million. They just, except for PewDiePie, but <laughs> PewDiePie made it in early. So PewDiePie kind of cheated the system in a sense, because it was before the censorship. What's my take on geeks and gamers? I don't watch them. I don't watch him. I know they're loosely associated with, like, nerd rotic and stuff. All, all this stuff is very incestual. I'm glad I'm not part of the incestual shit. I really am. That's why it's sad to see, like, ER. ER, we know it's not a fucking joke. The fact that EFAP is trying to hide behind that he's pretending to be edgy is, is so delusional and stupid, but I think they're lying anyway. I think they're lying. People told me, and you know what, you can take it with a grain of salt or something if you want that Mahler was inspired by ER's videos, that he really liked them. And Mahler is obviously not alright, so of course he would want to tell himself that the ER videos are a joke. But you don't just fucking release Steven Universe videos with like neo-Nazi, well, literally Hitler speeches. It's fucking Steven Universe with Hitler speeches. I thought it was hilarious. I, I thought it was really funny. Referring to Jews as gems was pretty funny. That said, it's not ironic. It's not fucking ironic. You're, you're, again, it's just like 
you know, oh, I have an anime profile pic, but I'm not a coomer, guys. I call myself the, all the almighty lolly, but I was just being ironic, guys, and I don't hate almighty lolly. I'm just saying that's an example that, that keeps coming up. Oh, I, I have a dog as my profile pic, but, you know, I'm not a furry, guys. Shut your fucking lying whore mouth. You are a joke. You are a fucking joke. Okay, there we go. There's my ultimate schizo rant. I think I should probably end it here. I'm glad that this is like my second most popular stream and I'm just calling out everyone I don't like. This is going to end up on Kiwi Farms or something. I just know it will. This is a fed honey butt. It could be at this point, but I'm I'm relying on you guys to use your, your brain. We, we will ban any feds in here. You might have your bias like most. I can see what you're saying, though. I absolutely have my bias. I don't think most of the things that I say are objective. They're not. I That's that's always the funniest thing to me is when people pretend that their opinions are uh, objective. I know. I keep talking about them without talking about it. It, it just keeps coming up because I've thought about it for years. And now it's like I suddenly have a real reason to talk about it, like the EFAP pretentious garbage. Uh, I might as well talk about it then. Josh Moon loves Synthetic Man Real. I don't think Noel has mentioned me. How come you're one of the few schizos with a YouTube channel? Eh, probably not. I think there's others. I don't know, maybe, because a lot of schizos go too deep in the paint, where they think, like, the government's gonna, like, shoot them in the back of the head if they say things or something. Ursa Major, thanks, five bucks. I'm sick of people like Drinker and Quartering giving us a surrogate outlet for frustration. Our frustration should go to the source, not at bad movies. As for Ursa Major, as for th this comment, um, I don't want to fed post too much, but to keep it brief, th literally it's gatekeeping. It's it's conservative gatekeeping. That's what the Daily Wire is doing. Um, that's what Tim Pool is doing for the centrists, and maybe you could argue also Quartering is doing it. It's gatekeeping us away from taking radical action. And I'm not saying that to encourage radical action. I'm just saying... It exists specifically so that the millions of guns in this country are not turned on, you know, the people, the elites, the, the government, whatever. That's exactly the point of these people. Thanks for the 225 ARS. I think that the left is looking at us arguing between right wing chads and taking that chance to mess things up. I support Matt, you and Crowder. It's just, it's one of those things. I'm not going to tell you who to listen to, but you do need to understand that, like, unironically, you have to think for yourself. Where you have to understand, like, none of these role models, especially if there's anything I've learned, anything I've learned the past five years, all of these, like, fake dad role models do not trust a single fucking one of them. Just look at what became of Jordan Peterson. And you can't just use the Benzos thing as an excuse. Like, people have done research. He was part of, like, some big, weird government shit. Why would a Canadian psychologist be part of, like, some weird, like, climate... It was, like, I can't even remember what exactly he was. It was part of, like, some weird, like, world-changing climate change thingy. Like, a World Economic Forum tier team. And it's, like, he's a psychologist. What the fuck? Like, you know, it's stuff like that. You read little shit like that. And again, that's what turns people into schizos, basically, is that the truth is stranger than fiction. It really is. Like, it, it absolutely is stranger than fiction. You know, that's why people believe crazy conspiracy theories, because a lot of times they're true. They're not conspiracies at all. Nobody cares, thanks to two bucks. Thoughts on gun tubers like GT. Oh, Grant, though, right? Uh, a lot of them are feds. I think the most obvious fed is uh, administrative results. Especially because he he has a hold of the meme culture, like he understands. He may he's literally I think like made fun of like feds and things like that, but it's too obvious that he one he's covering his face. Anyone who covers their face, especially remember that one. Oh fuck, I need to start the game soon before this. This actually is getting into like fed posting territory, but just remember that one gathering like right wing gun advocate group or whatever the hell it was and it was all feds it was literally all feds talking to each other who didn't know they were feds they're all dressed exactly the same administrative results is one of them 100 percent, thousand fucking percent the stream hasn't even started no no so long. i've just been paused for about 20 fucking minutes we're we're we're, <laughs> we're we're over an hour into the game but i've been ranting about like the state of of counterculture 
That's that's like the safe way of saying it. I've been ranting about that for like 20 fucking minutes. Because I lost my m fucking mind. I'm going to get... I, I think I'm already... Like being suppressed in the algorithm anyway, I'm pretty sure. But but given how popular the stream is, maybe that's not true. I don't know. Like, okay, I'm pausing again. We shouldn't be surprised anymore by people lacking independent minds. Humans are naturally driven by social instinct that makes reprogramming a society to conform to anything. Lonely world for independent minds. It's kind of like a dangerous path going down that kind of thinking to a degree because I don't think there's anything wrong with necessarily conforming to a certain idea set. It just has to be the right idea set. The thing is the right set of ideas for Clown World is exactly what is going to get... <laughs> Again, I don't even want to say it. The point is the Founding Fathers started the Revolutionary War for less than what's been done to us in, in the past 20 years. 100%. Like, okay, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Fucking hell, you guys keep giving me money. I, I, how can I play the game? Kind of based, the surrogate father, people are hacks, especially Sam Hyde with his podcast where he gives life advice. While Sam himself is responsible for ruining every good opportunity he's ever had. That's true. That's kind of what I was implying earlier about that he's slipping. And him starting million, you know, uh, World Peace 2 when it, he has less than half of the creative minds that made the original... I haven't seen every new skit he's made, but people were basically saying his newer skits were shit. And I saw one of them, and I, I agree. It wasn't that funny. He's slipping, I think. Killer Must, thanks to the 20 DKK. Just got here. What did I miss? Also based. Uh, well, if you want to hear my most schizo rant yet, yeah, just rewind 20 minutes. Uh, Denim Chicken 8, thanks to 10 bucks. All these lads need to do is eat meat, lift heavy weights, stop watching porn. Unironically, it, the fucking, the first father figure and come that comes out and says fucking lift yeah eat me fucking sleep stop watching porn that, that honestly depression depression wouldn't be cured because it is a societal problem that is going to require much more than that to fix but i guarantee people would stop fucking complaining about it every three seconds it helped me I was depressed for 10 fucking years. Still kind of am. You can probably tell by the content. But at least I don't bitch about it constantly. This this stream took a fucking turn. It really did. I look forward to people using it against me. Because I stand by everything I said. Because I'm not that drunk. I'm just drunk enough to loose my lips. That's all it is. Thank you. We need our own institutions away from the left. They've been compromised. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, the Daily Wire thing absolutely proved that they're compromised. The world is cruel and a lie. Trust yourself and be a man. The problem is be a man. It, even the definition of that. Like, I'm not going to fed post, but eventually, I hope people decide enough is enough. I don't know. I just, I look forward to reading my Q, not mine. I look forward to reading Mauler's Kiwi Farms thread to see if the drinker shit was, you know, got people's attention. <laughs> Your honesty is what we all need to stay based. Yep. I'm going to stay based on band. I really don't want to watch this, but we're going to fucking do it anyway. Drinker's Horizon Forbidden West review is awful. So I expect another awful review. God of War 3, Atreus needs HRT. I, I find it funny he plays that. That clip just looks cartoonish, especially given, like, the general portrayal of Kratos and the rest of the game. It just... Look at it, like, him just... I, I want to play that back. Just... His fucking face. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like supposed to be badass, but he just. Is on for father and son first to find a way of changing the prophecy. Why are you playing this clip here? Come with Ragnarok, and then later when See, war becomes. It just shows how like drinker drinker is proof that you don't need to edit your videos in any sensical way whatsoever. What do these clips have anything to do with what he's talking about? First, he plays a clip from when you go find the uh, the Norns or whatever, the, the fates of the, the Norse mythology, which has nothing to do with what he's saying. Now it's showing Surtur from the end of the game, which also has nothing to do with what he's saying. I mean, why 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 does editing even a thing? Why, do you, why does anyone edit a video? But it's not like EFAP would call out this. They would 
would call out my video for doing a vaguely similar thing, but this is way worse. Unexpected, each keeping secrets and telling lies, and making difficult decisions that could change the outcome of the entire war. Honestly, except, I could spend except it didn't. Except it made absolutely no difference what any of them did to the plot of the story. Gee, did you notice that the prophecy pretty much just happened anyway, one to one? With no real consequences for any of the changes. I just leave that out, I guess. Kind of an important plot. <laughs> a plot point. God. Yeah, I know they're buddy buddies. That was the point I was making, MVDCC. It, uh, you know, just call out your perceived enemies who really have nothing to do with you, especially when they don't even have 100,000 subs. But, you know, when you're 1.5 million sub buddy who you're grifting off of and pretending to be, like, anti-SGW and show up on, like, three different podcasts or whatever the fuck, yeah, fucking everyone is gay. All you motherfuckers are gay as fuck. And I want to use more harsh words than that, but I'm not allowed to. So I'll just say that. I was talking about every aspect of this game's story, the excellent character development woven into the narrative. No, 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 no. Excellent character development. What a, this guy, oh my, Drinker is such a piece of shit. Holy, I'm, I'm hating this guy more by the second. There's no character development. What the fuck are you talking about? Did you play a different game? This is such bullshit. Oh my God. Oh my god, oh, the shilling, I can't take it, show the scripts, you, the, the, the fucking, show your fucking contract, whatever you signed, who's paying you, you fuck, this is, this is just, you're just lying, you're just fucking lying of deception and revelation that gradually brings about a clearer understanding and the fascinating exploration of the nature of fate and destiny, whether events really are no! Oh my god! No, this is this is literally just lies. This is I, I, I almost can't watch the rest of this, and not just because I'm drunk, but just like this is retarded. This you're just saying things. They're not even true. Oh my god! You know what? I have no problem with people saying my review is bad or whatever for like saying you know oh, I stretched certain events of my retelling or i just didn't tell it favorably or something this is literally the opposite where you're giving the game every credit to the point where it's literally not true there's nothing deep about this story whatsoever it's a fucking marvel movie i i don't even know if i can make it to the point where he throws shade at me because this is so awful but it doesn't matter because he's 1.5 million subs and that's, you know, at least a couple hundred thousand dick suckers who are not going to, you know, uh, give any opposing opinion to the popular YouTuber. Whoa there, Critical's a writer, bro. Yeah, a writer of discount Tom Clancy novels, if I remember correctly. He, he just writes shitty war fiction that's, I mean, I haven't read it, but... The point is, he's writing, like, discount Tom Clancy novels, as if that that's, like, some kind of accomplishment in this day and age. Fucking, like, Jeremy from uh, uh, Achievement Hunter has written and published a book, as if that's an, a, a fucking, if, as if that means anything. So don't even go there. Don't even fucking go there. We'll see how much more I can tolerate of this the, these fucking lies. Are predetermined, or whether our belief in them is what makes them real. But I think it's okay. Not okay, I, I'm only gonna address this one more time. The game flat out tells you that fate is a lie. That is not complex. That is not deep. That does not leave questions for the viewer. There's no death of the author component to that. The game tells you literally what it means that is not deep or interesting what the fuck god of war ragnarok is a pretty fucking interesting story filled no it with isn't even more interesting characters no nope. i mean nope. it's kind of nope. amazing to think that we started off with this wretched beast i know who it is you serve return to your master tell the god of war i am his no longer and ultimately ended up with this loki will go Okay, okay, he's a retard. You didn't play the original games. Kratos literally, literally kills himself in the beginning of the game. That is more emotional depth than any of the games after that. He, he was tortured so much by killing his own family that he kills himself. That is, oh my god.
Oh my god, this is... He didn't play them. You didn't... Just say you didn't play them. It's okay. Like, you can just say you didn't play them. Like, you don't have to pretend. What a fucking hack. You know, and... Yeah. Oh, I'm so within an inch. My... I'm so close to saying my favorite word. The, the F... The F slur. Because that's what he is. He's absolutely just being, like, you know... <laughs> A uh, monkey pox ridden, AIDS ridden, uh, bowel parasite spreading, you know, bend over for corporations, you know, person. I, I don't think I can make it through this. This is way worse than the Horizon of Britain West video because it's just lies. It's just lies. This is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm telling you. If a single, a single person watching this stream right now still believes that that drinker is anti-woke, anti-SCW, any of that. The message. This game is made by people who love the message. I showed that at the Game Awards. I, I've looked... Fucking Anthony Birch wrote for this shit, who's an open cuckold. Like, fucking... It's, <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm lo I can't take this anymore. If there's any... I hate lies. It's just that is just one of those things that's inherent to being a schizo is you hate the deception, the obvious fucking deception. This is his second channel, which is 320,000. Uh, look at how many subs his main channel has. He's like 1.5 million. We got 1.59 million subs. You think that is against against the wokeness? You think someone would get 1.5 million views on YouTube being anti woke? There's no hope for you if you still think that. This is, <laughs> you're out of your fucking mind. Drinker, like many film-oriented people, doesn't have well-developed tastes in other media. As we have to understand, film buffs tend to gravitate towards cinematic games for obvious reasons. Yes, but the story in and of itself is not even that interesting. It's not that different from a fucking Marvel movie. Like, But even without the build-up, though, really... Because we went from God of War 2018, where you just kind of kill Balder, you kill Thor's sons, that's it, to, oh, suddenly the apocalypse is ha happening and everyone needs to die. That's not proper build-up. Infinity War had how many movies building up to it? This is not earned in any way, and the story's not interesting. Like, this is, he's fucking lying, because he knows, this is, honestly, Sony might have not given him a dime, it's not even that. He just saw, okay, where did the public... Lean toward, oh, oh, the Sony fanboys who are the vocal minority that dominates any discussion about games on their platform, loves the game to death, and dislikes bombs any game criticizing it. Okay, so I'm going to pick the safe option and just pretend the game is really deep and amazing, because he is a grifter. All these people are grifters. They do not care about you or your plight at all. They don't. This is just another way to make money. It's a small bubble because anyone who actually believes in anything says things way too controversial to make any fucking money. And I look, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's against YouTube's terms of service, but I've already showed you how much money I make. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Now, if I did like two sponsorships a month, I'd probably make way more money. I, I'm, I would make way more. But people don't like the sponsorships and I can't blame them. Because I have a brand based on honesty, which is evident by all my various rants about other people's dishonesty. But I don't make a lot in ad revenue. I don't. I would never lie about that for even a second. I could show you how much money I made off of the fucking first last of this video. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. What did Drinker say about me? I don't know. Let's just fucking skip to the end of the video. Because that's I what people can... wanted me to, to react to, right? But honestly, those first few hours feel like you're given control for a couple of minutes at a time before the game throws you into another extended cutscene. Or even worse, forces you to walk down a fixed path while scripted dialogue plays out, where your control is so limited that it might as well just be a movie. Honestly, Now I notice how he put this 10 minutes into the video, so most of the people who will watch this will never see this part. If I... I guarantee you, if in all my videos I saved... if I did all the positives first, and then the negatives afterward, all my like-dislike ratios would be much higher, because guess what? For YouTube videos, the the watch time decreases massively after the first minute. It's something like over 30% of people stop watching after the first minute. So, 
let's just save my few criticisms for the game for the end of the video to make it look like I'm a real critic. Like I say, this is really just a temporary thing, and the game opens up once you've churned... That's not true. That's not even true, anyway. I oh, I already know where he's going with this, but he's still wrong. Wolf Ion says, thanks to the two bucks. I don't know why video games get a pass on Woke. Because they make more money than Hollywood, and it's just that there's no established group of people who are anti-woke. Let's say I wasn't a misanthropic introvert who hates everybody or whatever. If I was a normal person who is extroverted, who had a network of other YouTubers that I linked up with, and we all hated wokeness in video games, and that let's say that network blew up to cumulatively 3 million subs amongst 5 to 10 people, then people would suddenly be anti-woke. But there is no network in the gaming space for that. Now, for film and comic books, there absolutely is. But there just isn't for video games. I couldn't point to you an exact reason. That's just that's just what it is. It, that's just reality. There also seems to be this weird implication floating around that Ragnarok is somehow a woke game. And honestly, I just don't get it. Either I'm missing something that other people are clearly seeing, or they might be projecting things that aren't actually there. I never once got the feeling that the game was trying to crowbar in some clumsy and inappropriate political ideology to its story, or elevate certain characters at the expense of others. Yeah, female characters like Freya and Thrud are depicted as powerful warriors that can hold their own even against someone like Kratos, because they're literally gods but they're also complex flawed and kratos kills gods for breakfast freya is not flawed cursing your son with immortality because you love him is not a character flaw someone who analyzes film might know what a character flaw is that is not a character flaw that is a mistake characters make mistakes even perfect characters even if the writers might argue that it's not a mistake. Make mistakes. A character flaw is different from a mistake. I probably should have said that in my original video, but I didn't think I needed to explain something like that. And well-written individuals in their own right. And by the end, Freya doesn't just respect Kratos, she defers to him. The only thing I could possibly- That's a lie. That's a lie. Do you want to post evidence of that? Of, of Freya deferring to Kratos? Because I seem to remember multiple lines in the game of her constantly challenging his authority. There's literally a line in my review where she says she can take him. Now, it was, you know, slightly in jest, obviously. It was supposed to be a playful little line. But it shows what the writers really think, that this fucking Vanir god who really... Has no reason to be nearly as powerful as she is. Kratos killed an entire pantheon of gods. Fucking no problem, but but she she's a match for him. Retard. Retard. I'm just gonna say retard. Like you might as well just say it at this point. Possibly come up with that people might take issue with is Angra Boda, who looks a bit out of place in a story that's all about Norse mythology. Okay, but at least you point that out. Dimensional realm travel, wildly exotic landscapes, cultures, different races, and even species. A few characters with different skin tones is probably the least unusual thing you're gonna see. Okay. Yep. See there. I just he said it with his own words. If it's fantasy. It's completely fine to shit on white culture. That's what he said in other words. And you are a fucking weasel if you try and argue otherwise. You're a fucking weasel, pathetic slime ball. That is basically what he just said. There you go. And it's not like she's even used to make some awkward point about contemporary social issues. She's see, 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 here we go. Here we go. This is what they say every time. If, if there's any subtle propaganda, the so-called people on your side will just argue it's not there at all. If it's not screaming it in your fucking face because you're an idiot, then it's not there. See, this is the problem. They don't have a problem with wokeness at all if it's done subtly. You could have subtle communist propaganda in any game you want, subtle racial supremacy, subtle whatever. Well, unless it was white supremacy, then people would sniff it out like a fucking hound dog easily. With It, it would never be stated in the game and people would easily make the argument for it. But if it's anything else, Mahler said on Real BBC, there is no white culture. I know, I, I read... Like I said, I, I read the Kiwi Farms thread. He got that from Sargon, by the way. Mahler doesn't even have original thoughts on politics. He gets them from Sargon, and we all know Sargon is a fucking... I, I mean, he's a grifter, but he's not just a grifter. He's like the smuggest motherfucker. I'm so ashamed that I used to watch him. 
The funny thing is, is like he's double, he's kind of like backpedaled on a lot of that, but not explicitly. He still pretends he's a centrist, but he's gone way harder on the SJW, anti SJW stuff on uh, podcasts, The Lotus Eaters. So I don't even know why he pretends at this point, but you know, most of Mahler's idea of real politics is stolen from Sargon. Just a character who's there to fill you in on some backstory, and that's pretty much it. I guess my point here is that while it's important to call out divisive identity politics in media, it doesn't mean that it exists everywhere. And if you start trying to- See, here we go. This is- it's evidence of the Overton window shifting. I, I will allow this to continue, but it's literally what I talked about in my most recent video. M Nemesis, thanks for the ten bucks. Okay, well, TBH, it's okay to put different race colors in fantasy, but he has to, but it has to make sense. The whole anger boat and God of War looking the way she does doesn't make sense story wise. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing: there have been like Middle Eastern, very occasionally African races in fantasy worlds before but they were from a different land. It was always explained, like even Berserk, the, the fucking uh, Kushan, right? They're like some sort of India and Middle Eastern hybrid, and they're from a different land, and they control a vast empire. Different land looks different, right? This is just out of fucking nowhere. He said the opposite in his Rings of Power video. This is what I'm trying to tell you. He has no consistent beliefs. It's all about what does the public opinion think. All he does is parrot the public opinion. I just said it in my fucking Last of Us episode 2 video. God, he, you know, it's funny. The more videos I watch of his, the more I realize, like, his shit doesn't... Like, he says the vaguest, smart-sounding... It reminds me of Lex Friedman, kind of. Where these people find a way of speaking that sounds intelligent but says nothing. You know what I mean? But people don't point it out because they're fucking dumb. And you, all you have to do is look at the like-dislike ratio to know, like, there's almost no one disliking this because he's just jerking off a game people like. You could say the, mo the dumbest shit in the world, but if you're liking something other people like, you won't get dislikes. Because that's, that's... Everything is Reddit now. Everything is Reddit. Problem with non-gamers like Drinker is if you call them out, they'll just deflect by calling you a nerd with too much time on your hands. Yeah, says the guy who dedicated his career to talking about TV and shit. That's a fucking nerd. Lex is a good soul. He's just kind of slow. Not true. Not even slightly true. Not only is he Jewish, and I, I, he actually is. He's a Ukrainian Jew. But he's the most astroturfed person on YouTube, period, where if you listen to any podcast content, autoplay will lead to him eventually. It only speaks badly when it's a ridiculous woke like Saints Row or Velma, when it's more disguised woke with God of War or Verizon, he speaks well. That's what I'm saying. He... He just parrots the public opinion. His content isn't good, guys. It's just not. Look, you're free to like him, but I mean, you can't deny what I'm saying. You just can't. And I, look, I'm saying this, I swear to God, I'm not saying this just to say this. I don't care if you don't like my God of War video. There are issues with it. I acknowledge that it wasn't just like a cope. Like it, the, the video has problems. I pump out videos to, to get into the algorithm. If I had spent more time on it, certain parts of it would be better, like have more examples, be better written or whatever. This is awful. This is actually an awful review. But again, because you parrot public opinion... You don't get dislikes. Well, whatever. I, I'll be the 197th dislike, though. I have noticed the dislike extension under under uh, reports dislikes, at least going by my own metrics, I often have much more dislikes than what the dislike extension has. But that being said, it's Critical Drinker, so I'm sure he doesn't have that many dislikes. You're guaranteed banned this year, dude. You're too based. Star shilling, subscribe, star making Odyssey channel. If I get banned, I'll, I will move to another platform. I Honestly, I wouldn't even be opposed to like getting a contract with Rumble, depending on what the terms of the contract were. I'm not giving up on online content. I'm too, I'm too far into it now. If I had been banned in my first year, maybe even my second year, but not my third year, I'm in February, it'll have been my third year making content. I've been doing it for three years.